Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you please, if you're coming in, this is the first time you are coming in contact with my information, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and also like the video because it helped the algorithm. This video is going to show you how you can be pre-approved or you can start receiving pre-approval letters in the mail online even with bad credit so if you are in the building process of trying to get your credit either reestablished or established we're going to show you a technique that you need to employ in order to establish your credit so what we're going to do is go to two websites to help you get your name in the system so you can start receiving these offers in the mail. And later on, I'll show you some steps on how to get pre-approvals or to even get approved with a soft inquiry by leveraging these two websites and using this technique to get into the credit card systems. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, these websites, if you have already went to these sites or if you have blocked your LexisNexis or your SageStream because you're trying to remove negative items off of your credit, this, uh, these two techniques uh, may not work as effectively if you don't unfreeze those accounts. So the two websites that I'm going to show you, one is Factor Trust. So we're going to click here and we're going to go to Factor Trust. This is a website where you can enter your information. Some people choose to opt out if they're trying to work on their credit and they really don't want um, if they've been a victim of fraud and they want to opt out of this and stop receiving credit card offers. But what we're going to use this today is to help get you in the system to receive credit card offers, especially if you have trouble credit and if you are trying to rebuild your credit. One thing you need to understand about credit cards, the banking system, and the credit bureaus. The banks work with the credit bureaus. Lenders work with the credit bureaus to find profiles that fits their products and services. Understand the banks make money off of interest. So the banks want to lend. They want to give out credit cards but there are certain profiles that they buy or they go to the three major credit bureaus and say, I'm looking for this type of profile for this type of credit product. Even if you have bad credit, which is considered subprime, lenders are looking to offer you credit cards. Now, when these pre-approval come in the mail, it doesn't necessarily mean that you automatically are going to get that card. It's just saying your profile fits into what this lender is looking for for this product. So if you have bad credit and you have, um, you know, uh, trouble credit, you know, there are lenders that specialize in that because they can offer you higher interest rates and not give you such large credit lines for the interest rates they're offering you. This also works for people with good credit. If you want American Express cards, more prime cards with rewards, you might want to opt into this system if you are trying to get larger lines of credit. So back to trust, works um, at, with, with the CRAs, credit reporting agencies, to put your information in the system. So what you want to do 
is instead of opting out, you want to opt in. So what you're going to do is hit the opt-in button, and then you want to begin to submit your information. So what it is going to do is take you to the next page. So you want to take the time. I'm not going to start typing in my information because I do have my automatic uh, feel on and I don't want my personal information shown, but you want to make sure that you want to enter your information consistently because when you begin to fill out for pre-approvals, it need to match this information exactly. You want your social security number, birth date, and be very careful on how you enter your address here. If you are in an apartment, if you have um, apartment B or A, you want to make sure you enter this consistently with when you fill out pre-approvals or if you are receiving application pre-approvals that's coming via mail, you want it to go to the right place. You also want to see when you start looking for soft pull credit cards or pre-approvals, that information has to be consistent with what you enter here. So if your apartment is first floor, second floor, third floor, you want to make sure you enter this correctly here. You also want to make sure if your person with a number of email addresses, you want to stay consistent with the same email address because this is another indicator of them being able to identify this as yourself. I will have this link in the description for Factor Trust. So as you can see, you want to enter your information here and then you will confirm and you will get a confirmation after you confirm this. Now, after you receive the confirmation, you may want to keep a record of that. I have myself kept a record of that where I can have access so you can remember when you're applying for credit cards for soft pull, how to enter the information exactly how you have it here. If you get a pre-approved offer in the mail, you want to also enter that information if you're applying online exactly how you're entering it here on this website. So the next website we want to go to is opt out pre-screening. Now, many times if people are trying to fix their credit, dispute ne negative items, they would opt out with a Novus TransUnion, um, making sure that LexisNexis does not have this information on you. But when you are done with that process, or if you're a person in the building of your credit process, you want to make sure you come to this website and you opt in. So you don't want to opt out. So what you're going to do is go and come to optoutprescreen.com and you want to click here to opt in or opt out. So the same with Factor Trust, you want to make sure that when you click this opt in option, do not opt out. If you're trying to get credit, you want to continue and make sure you put all your information here consistently. So you want to make sure your first name, um, especially your last name and your address, that it is put in properly. If you're at an apartment or floor, you want to make sure you're consistent with this because an error, a small error, can get you denied or unverified when you begin to search for credit, look for 
pre um, uh, pre qualifications without hard credit pools. Such companies like Capital One offer that. You want to make sure that your information here is consistent so they can verify you. A lot of those uh, pre-qualifications might just only ask you for the last four digits of your social security number with these pre-approval offers or if you're trying to pre-qualify and you can get a credit card sometimes just off your last four without a credit pull. But in order to do that, they need to be able to match your information with the information that you entered into this site. This will also, once you confirm, give you a confirmation. I suggest that you keep that confirmation so you do not forget how you entered in this information when you go to apply for credit. Another key factor, like I mentioned earlier, if you are a person who has blocked your LexisNexis, Clue Report, SageStream, Anobis, or any other of those um, third party CRAs, you may have to unfreeze it in order to get those offers rolling again. So make sure if you're looking to build credit, this is a way, even if you have bad credit, to get pre-approval offers. So you want to make sure that you do this process. And if you are looking to uh, search credit out, you may have to give these sites two or three weeks to get you in the system. So I hope this information is helpful to help you rebuild your credit or begin building your credit journey. Thank you.